Robert Kiyosaki, this entire crypto bubble is about to collapse. Businessman and the author of Rich Dad Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki said in a tweet on May 12th that Bitcoin is crashing. Great news, he went on to say. As stated in previous tweets, I am waiting for Bitcoin to crash to 20k and will then wait for a test of the bottom, which might be 12k. Once I know the bottom is in, I back up the truck. Crashes are the best times to get rich. Does he advise investing now or later? Does this sound interesting to you? If you want to know more about this, we will cover everything in this video. So hey crypto lovers, welcome back to Cryptology. Today we're back with an amazing topic, where we'll discuss the tweet of Robert Kiyosaki, writer of the famous book Rich Dad Poor Dad. Are you guys excited? Without any further delay, let's dive right into the video. And make sure you please hit that bell icon and subscribe to our channel so you get every single update from our channel. You see, all major cryptocurrencies have been trading in the red lately, with the fall testing even long-term investors. Here we will explain what has triggered this latest crash. The cryptocurrency market is plunging to a new low every day. Bitcoin, the world's largest cryptocurrency, is at its 18-month low, plunging to $20,407 up to June 15th. It is down by around 60% so far this year. Meanwhile, the second largest crypto, Ethereum, is from over 25% down to $1,040. The global crypto market has shrunk from $1.02 trillion to $983.73 billion, an 11% decrease according to CoinMarketCap. It all started after the Luna Terra fiasco. It was an event that has served consequences for not only its investors, but the crypto ecosystem at large. Many investors lost their entire life savings. Recently, Kiyosaki has been bullish on Bitcoin. He often recommended buying gold, silver, and Bitcoin as a hedge against inflation. However, he tweeted Tuesday morning that he expected the U.S. government to seize all cryptocurrencies. He explained that after President Biden signed executive order regulating cryptocurrencies, the next step would be to launch a Fed crypto. After that, he believes that all crypto will be seized and folded into government crypto. Bye-bye, Bitcoin, he wrote. Kiyosaki's crypto prediction has been heavily criticized by the community of crypto, with many people stressing that he should have waited to see what's actually in the executive order before speculating recklessly on it. Are the people now going to be homeless? What do you think about it? Let us know. The situation is critical, and Kiyosaki's words are too harsh for the investors and people who are depressed about the fall. Will it survive the crash? On June 22nd, the slump was triggered by the Celsius Network, a major U.S. cryptocurrency lending company, after it froze withdrawals and transfers, citing extreme conditions. The move fueled a slump across the cryptocurrencies, with their value falling below $1 trillion for the first time since January last year. Unlike traditional investments such as company shares, where price movements may well be influenced by the performance of the business, Bitcoin has no underlying asset. This means that the movements in its price are purely based on speculation among investors about whether it will rise or fall in the future. As a result, there could be violent swings in the price of Bitcoin, even in the space of 24 hours. The aggressive raising of interest rates is commonly viewed as a leading recession indicator. Following the news, the stock market, as well as the crypto market, witnessed a huge downfall and investors lost trust and started selling off their digital assets, causing a bloodbath in the crypto market. According to Kiyosaki, it's not currencies like gold, silver, and Bitcoin that are the issue. It's the federal government's response to the hack. It's how they handle money altogether. In previous years, Kiyosaki has told about how the United States dollar had been weakened by irrational financial decisions made by the federal government. He warns that people should purchase more gold, silver, and cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Why? Well, as a result of the direction in which the world is heading, there will be no reason to print money, and we will soon be able to say goodbye to the fiat system. Additionally, Kiyosaki is of the opinion that investments in digital currencies could reduce the cost incurred by governments due to the printing of money. It's not about how much it costs to print money and put it into circulation for more than 300 million people in the United States. Once this point's acknowledged by the government, the value of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies will begin to recover. Because of this, he believes that the current market downturn is the ideal time to significantly increase one's holdings of cryptocurrency. Is Kiyosaki completely deranged, or does his insanity possibly have some kind of rationale behind it? During the COVID-19 pandemic, it is indisputable that there was a significant depreciation in the purchasing power of the United States dollar. The economy is still in a precarious position, and millions of people have lost their jobs and their means of subsistence as a result. 
Kiyosaki's encouraging people to put their money into cryptocurrency because he believes it has the potential to make their lives significantly better. Anyone who's willing to buy Bitcoin during this crash could probably reap the benefits of their investment within the next six to seven years. Cryptocurrency and Bitcoin have even gained approval from governments and other financial institutions across the world as viable payment methods. Kiyosaki has even stated publicly that he intends to invest in Bitcoin once the price drops to a level of $2,400. Kiyosaki compares the recent decline in cryptocurrency prices to the time-honored conflict between an investor and a business person, which is a topic that he addresses numerous times in his best-selling book. An investor is someone who recognizes the potential of something and continues to bank on it despite the fact that it is decreasing in value. He is focused on what lies ahead and maintains a patient disposition. The next type of person is the business person, also known as the person who is looking to make a quick buck and is not someone who typically invests in something that develops over time. Because of this, we are witnessing a significant number of business people abandoning Bitcoin due to the precipitous decline in its value. Kiyosaki encourages traders who are on the cusp of making a profit with Bitcoin to maintain a patient and optimistic attitude. In the process of trying to establish itself in the US dollar zone, it is not uncommon for a currency to go through periods of both growth and decline. Along the way, it was plagued by a variety of difficulties, ranging from the Great Depression to the housing bubble burst. In point of fact, Kiyosaki's admitted in a number of interviews that the primary reason for his intention to purchase Bitcoin in a large amount right now is to save the dying dollar. This is the reason why he wants to buy a lot of Bitcoin right now. Although Kiyosaki's actions are courageous and inspiring, we must not lose sight of the fact that the dollar is the most widely used currency in the world, has a high level of adaptability, and is supported by the federal government, which is one of the most powerful financial institutions in the world. Kiyosaki, on the other hand, maintains his optimism that Bitcoin will recover in the long run, despite the ongoing bear market in cryptocurrencies. His comments come at a time when rumors are circulating that the federal government has been helping to drive down the value of Bitcoin out of fear that the dollar will face stiff competition. Competition. What if, contrary to Kiyosaki's optimistic forecast, the price of Bitcoin continues to fall even further? He reiterates that those who invest now in this crash will easily be able to cut their losses if it doesn't work out, and they will have spent less than those who purchased Bitcoin at its peak price. And that's going to do it for today's video, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click on the like button and make sure you share it with all your friends and family. If you have any questions or comments for us, please make sure you share them with us in the comment space below. We always check in and we always love to hear from you, our viewers. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel too, where you'll see even more of our incredible videos. And on your way out, make sure you hit that bell icon too, so you always get the latest updates and notifications of when we have new updates on our channel. Channel. Make sure you check out all of our other videos that have been specially selected just for you as well, and we'll catch up with you in our next video. Thanks for spending time out of your day to hang out with us today, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day!